in addition to having you know a tremendous a broad range of scientific topics ranging from you know optics and alternative energy or you know quantum information science and novel laser systems we also have the undergraduate research symposium which is led by Hal Metcalf from uh, Stony Brook and there that program has been ongoing since 2001 where we invite undergraduate students from across the country to share some of their research experiences and, and results with the scientific community at large and the benefit of this is that it gives not only the undergraduate students an opportunity to share their work amongst each other, but it gives them an opportunity to network with other scientific professionals throughout the community. And more importantly, it gives some of us professors to attract some of the best and brightest undergraduate students to graduate school. And hopefully we'll be able to do some of that this year. Another activity we have is the laser science banquet. And there we have typically the folks from the uh, American Physical Society's Division of Laser Science get together, sit down around the table and have a fantastic dinner where we're going to have an extremely high visibility speaker uh, which is going to share some of their experiences and energize the folks from the conference. This also gives the attendees a nice opportunity to network with other professionals across the country and within the Central Florida community. So I'm sure this is going to be an extremely exciting and entertaining event. And most importantly, I'm particularly proud that he's got one of the plenary speakers, Professor Robert Alfano, who is receiving the Shallow Prize. This is the biggest and most notable uh, award that's given to researchers in the areas of laser science. And Bob Alfano is receiving this award for his uh, fantastic work in the generation of what we now call supercontinuum light, where you can take very short bursts of radiation, less than a trillionth of a second, to generate very, very broad band or spectrum of white light. And the reason why this is important is that it enables a host of applications in medical imaging, a fiber optic telecommunication, and the most recent advances and precision in laser metrology. And so he's being recognized for that award. And most importantly, I'm particularly proud that he's getting that award because I was one of his students.